This is over time what's happening in the labour market. You have sort of low wage jobs and high wage jobs and you have the jobs in the middle. And what we've seen over time is a, a big growth at this end, low wage jobs, and some growth as well at the high, high end. And, and this dramatic drop in the middle. So our labour market, what our labour market is doing is that it's really segmenting and a lot of those middle jobs are falling out. They might be middle management, they might be manufacturing and, and, and medium level jobs as well, medium paid jobs, are falling away. So we are getting a situation whereby it's low wage, not only is it low wage, it's not low wage with a ladder. So there's some really interesting work the Resolution Foundation's on where they found that um, about three quarters of people in low wage work 10 years ago had, were either still in the, that low wage work or had gone in and out from low wage to slightly better, to back to low wage, right? So people are stuck at that bottom end. Or, you know, if they make it, if they make it into this high end, then great, so you know, they'll, they'll be um, able to earn more money. But of course, when you think about social mobility and everyone doing well in this scenario, how does that work? Our well, labour market is not the case. It's not the case. It doesn't give room for everyone to earn a decent wage and to move up. It's just not those ladders there in our labour market in the same way that they were there when we had huge expanse of social mobility and you know post-war period because there was a whole bunch of jobs that were created that allowed people to move up and, and get those middle-level jobs. So our labour market doesn't even apply to our concept of social mobility right now. It's not even the case that our economy can facilitate it. Um, so it's interesting to hear the way in which you know politicians talk about it in reality. 